All right, students, so we're going to talk about the, um, tr the Baobab tree to be specific. And this tree is, in fact, associated with Africa as uh, the point of origin. Um, the actual name, the scientific, or I should say the botanical name of this particular tree is called um, Adansonia digitata, right? Commonly known as the Baobab tree, all right, belonging to the family Bombakashi. Now, this particular tree has a very um, thick trunk. And also deep taproot systems as well. Um, but these particular trees have very, very thick trunks in an attempt to store moisture and nutrients, primarily during the heart of a dry season. Now, this particular image is, in fact, um, capturing very, very uh, dry conditions. As you can see, the color of the grasses and stuff like that. Um, the foliage is also very distinctive. The crown at the surface of these trees are very broad. However, despite the fact that these, the leaves of these trees are well adapted and more resilient to cool, with the harsh conditions, sometimes the conditions can be very harsh and very distinctive. The dry season can be very, very hot. Despite the fact that these leaves possess a waxy surface in an attempt to make them more resilient all right, to the dry season and moisture deficient conditions. Primarily because of the fact that precipitation rates are very, very low and evapotranspiration or evaporation rates are very, very high. All right. So these trees are well adapted to coop under such conditions. All right, so students, we are in the Queen's Park Savanna in the capital of Port of Spain, um, which is in fact the fourth largest uh, roundabout in the world, bordered by the fourth largest roundabout. We can see there is in fact a baobab tree here present. Look at the thickness of the trunk. However, pay attention to the foliage, which is green and unusual, primarily because we experience tropical marine climate here. That means we receive a lot more rainfall in comparison to the Serengeti regions of Africa, which experiences a uh, tropical continental climate. And by extension, they experience a lot less moisture. So because of the more amount of moisture we receive, the vegetation would be, the foliage will be greener than usual. Okay, now let us go into the Queen's Park Savannah. From an aerial view, you can see this particular area is very large. Um, I mentioned this is in fact considered to be um, the fourth largest runabout in the world. Um, estimated to be an est estimated to be approximately 3.5 kilometers in perimeter. Now, where we were earlier, right? This is in fact an aerial view showing the Napa, um, or I should say the National Academy of Performing Arts. We were directly opposite that building, and this particular bunch of trees here, one of these particular trees were, I should say, was um, the baobab tree. All right. Now, the Queen's Park Savannah is in fact not only associated with local trees. Uh, but different types of trees um, from various parts of the world, and they are in fact planted on the border or the perimeter um, around, right, this particular area here, which is in fact very, very unique, all right, a very distinctive landmark, to be honest. Now, apart from that, um, apart from the baobab tree, there are other trees in the Queen's Park savanna, right, as for example, these are what we call pui trees. Um, they flower primarily uh, within our dry season around the month of March. All right. Um, they are very, very blooming and blossoming trees, as a matter of fact, very large trees to be specific. All right. So these are the baobab and these pui trees are, in fact, not the only trees found um, around the Queen's Park savanna. So vegetation actually finds a way. All right. But we must bear in mind that the foliage and the density and the structure of these particular vegetation types, right? They are, in fact, influenced by climate, all right? The climate we experience in Trinidad here is, in fact, tropical marine climate, whereas the climate experience in Africa, largely referring to the, um, given the continental landmass and its size, all right, um, is, in fact, tropical continental climate. And we receive a lot more rainfall than the Serengeti regions of Africa. Hence the reason why the foliage right, of this particular tree, the baobab tree here, is in fact a lot greener in our climatic condition, our latitudinal location. All right, because of our tropical marine condition that we experience right here. Okay, so I hope this video is actually beneficial to you all. Um, any questions, feel free to ask. Let me know. All right, uh, everybody take care. Have a good one. Bye.